Hello! This video is part of a series where I read over old issues of my comic, Hellgate, and give some commentary. Hellgate started in 2003 when I was 15 and ran till 2009. You can read it for free at JaegerComics.com. This footage was captured from my streams over at twitch.tv slash Jaeger underscore comics. Anyway, this is Hellgate Battle 28, The One He Truly Loves from 2007. Last time on Hellgate, Battle 27 loves true form. Neil transformed into his new third form thanks to his love for Courtney. And even though the Jaeger Sword's new form was too heavy, Neil was able to get one good swing in and take out Kelly once and for all. So here we have Courtney with the premiere of her new haircut. And a hair dryer. Perfect. Courtney, your hair looks awesome. Do you think Neil will like it? He won't be able to keep his hands off you. Amal? Neil reading some big O. My left arm is numb. Demonic says that'll wear off. It's a side effect of having your arm cut off while transformed. Holding up a magazine with one hand is annoying. Will you hold this open while I read it? And it's a it's a fun boy magazine. Perv. Boom. So about you and Courtney, yeah? You two going at it like bunnies? No. Punch. Beating on Jesse this issue. That girl Amanda was cute. Who? The girl I saved. Too bad when you transformed back she didn't recognize you. Oh, poor Jesse. Things have settled down. The demons that were on a rampage while I was gone have gone back into hiding. What is the Demon King planning? About the penguin. Dun dun! This guy's back. Jesse, go call Demonic. I might need his help. Okay. Let's go somewhere less populated. Back at the hotel. A cell phone ringing. Payphone. Hello? Jessica, put Demonic on the phone. Okay. Hello? Demonic! Aku is here. Neil is fighting him. I'm on my way. Only Neil's new form will be strong enough to beat Aku. But Neil still can't lift the sword in that form. Only the one Neil loves the most can bring up the Jaeger sword's true power. Me? Let's go. All right. So. The Demon King sent you here to kill me. No. I am here without the Demon King's knowledge. <laughs> Do you know the Demon King's plan? Plan? The Demon King wants you to explode. The Demon King wants you to be consumed with so much rage that your demonic power will cause you to self-destruct. That is what will amuse him most. You came close to exploding the other day, didn't you? Flashing back to when Neil almost exploded. Besides a few demons that acted on their own, and the plan involving the gem. Every fight you've been in has been an attempt to either attack you emotionally or leave you with no other choice but explode. But there is no telling how he'll act now that he can't spy on you. Spy on me? You now hold the gem. It prevents the Demon King's magic from viewing you. So the Demon King hasn't seen my third form. So why are you here? Two thousand years ago, Hyeger spent most of his time in Europe and northern Africa. I was in Japan. So you see, I've never faced an opponent who could harm me. His little necklace eye opens up. To put it simply, boom. I wish to fight you, Neil Hyeger the Demon Slayer. Good. I still can't lift the sword in my third form, so... All right! Into his demonic form, goes in with a swing. 
you're fast. <laughs> However, big swing, pushing Neil back to a tree. You do not have the power to back it up. Ah. That was a hard hit. It took a lot out of him. Damn. Meanwhile, in the car, Neil, just hold on till we get there. Neil, it's my turn to save you. There's no choice. I have to try my new form. He thinks of Courtney. His sword grows. His hair grows. And his shirt changes color. Boom. My shirt turned red. Look at all that energy! Throws his rope to the side. Seems you have made this worth my time. Damn, the sword is still too heavy. But here goes. Goes in for a swing. Clash. That was weak! Are you trying to make me mad? You're a waste of time. I should kill you now! They arrive. I'm not sure what to do, so I'll just call out his name with all my heart. Here goes. Neil! Oh. Sword catches on fire. I can lift the sword? Jessica activated the sword? Will you be more of a match now? Much more. Goes on with a fast strike. Very nice. I almost didn't block that. And I was holding back. Oh, slash. Bam, there goes an arm. The one Neil loves is Jessica? What did you do? The same thing you did to Jesse. Ooh. What's the matter, Aku? Isn't this what you wanted? A strong opponent? D don't slay me! If you cannot keep me from slaying you, demon, then you have no right to live. Isn't that what you said to Amanda? Boom. And Aku is slain. The sword falls in the grass. Nice job, Neil. Right, Courtney? Whatever. Huh? And an update of the ages of these characters. Um, issue 1. So their ages as of 5-1-2003. And then the age of this current issue, which would be 9-30-07. Neil started the series at 15. He's currently 19. Courtney started at 17. Now she's 21. Jessica was 14. Now she's 18. Jesse was 13. And now he's 17. I don't know why. I just felt like including that that time. Next time on Hellgate. Big Neil. When even Neil's new lighter sword is unable to take on a giant demon, he is forced to pilot a giant robot. Big Neil, showtime! All right, so um, one thing I remember about making this cover is that when I started coloring it and this guy was just in these, like, Speedo shorts and a collar, I was like, this guy looks like a fucking erotic dancer now. <laughs> the mesh shirt doesn't help either. Yes, Courtney's new hair. Courtney's hair has changed the most over the series. Um, this was finally the hairstyle I settled on and will be her hairstyle for the rest of the series. I was very, uh, happy with it. Um, there's a couple scenes in here where I don't like how it looks, but overall I think I, I like the design and she would maintain that until Heaven Gate when everyone got an update. Uh, Neil's reading a manga called Big O. 
put a pin in that. That'll come in. Uh, that'll come up next issue. I also like this idea that like, yeah, Jesse's arms back, but it's like numb for a while, since it got cut off while he was transformed into his like samurai form. Also, I brought this more. I brought this up. I won't go over this again with my weird issue with pornography. At this age, where I vilified it, but um, yeah, just more of that line of like, go, oh, that's not okay. Here I have um, pretty much established that things are kind of back to normal. The demons are back into like subdued. They're not causing mass chaos across the world. Um, you can see Neil still has like scars all over his body from where like his basically skin was ripping apart in the couple issues ago when he got a little bit too muscular in that super demonic form. Here's a blast of the from the past, an old flip phone. Usually I drew earpieces when people talked on the phone because it was much easier to draw, but I guess this time I decided to go full uh, phones to faces. Here's a classic case of talking head syndrome. I have a conversation, and the only way I could really spice it up is to keep drawing a coup at different angles. Who boy. Once again, though, I established here, he's got this little pendant. Where is it? Here it is. This little pendant here. And when the eye opens, it turns into a big sword. I remember getting a criticism when this issue came out from someone who said, uh, it was, you get some dumb criticism sometime, and this is definitely a dumb one. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he wouldn't have been able to, like, cut his cheek like that without... He, he wouldn't have been able to move that close that fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you to decide this? <laughs> it's my fucking comic. I, this guy can fucking teleport. He can fucking teleport, man. Fucking... I made the character. <laughs> Weird shit like that. Neil first tries the demonic form, and that doesn't work. And yeah, like here, I don't, I don't like how her hair looks here. Very rarely, I think this is one of the last times you uh, see, because like I will have like which side of her face is covered. Back here, like when I first made it, I was like trying to keep that consistent. I stopped caring after this because it always looked better if it was the side that you weren't closest to. So, I don't care if she just literally saw her turn her head. I don't care. It would switch sides. I don't give a shit. Whatever looks better. Another transformation to Neil's third form. Uh, this is the first time I established that his shirt turns red. Why? Uh, honestly, the design reason is just like I just want to mix up the colors, and it also harkens to the Inuyasha inspiration for this form. Um, why in canon? No. <laughs> his, shirt, his shirt turns red. Fuck you. That's why. And once again, I find myself disappointed in my characterization of Courtney. Um... She just really comes off as this weak need generic anime girl lately. Where she's always just like, Oh, I hope he's gonna be okay. Oh and like it's it's weird because like not only do I don't feel like that's her character now, I don't remember ever feeling that was her character. I think I just I don't know, I wasn't good at writing then, and so I just kinda followed the bouncing ball of various anime tropes instead of thinking about my character's motivations and how they would interact with the world around them, you know. I indicate the color red with cross hatching in Hellgate. It wasn't necessarily always the case. I don't know when that started. It may have started around now, honestly, to indicate that it's sure it's red, but uh cross hatching is how I show that Neil's shirt and eyes are red. And that will carry over to other characters with time. I don't think... Where's Demonic? Yeah, Demonic's red, but I, yeah, I've i never shaded him. But I know um, before long, I will... Uh, I know before the series ends, I, I get into the habit of cross-hatching Demonic as well. I'm kind of proud of this shot. So you see uh, Courtney getting ready to do her whole scream and then you have like jessica kind of get that shout in first and it causes these flames these red flames to appear around neil's sword and now he can lift it and once once he can lift his sword he aku is no match 
and yeah like i said i don't know why i suddenly decided i needed to elaborate on everyone's ages i guess i don't know just felt like giving everyone the the the, the knowledge of how they've they've grown over the course of the series it was also fun to go back and kind of draw what their original designs were in my current art style yeah jessica is the only one who has had no design changes up to this point Jesse's gone through different hairstyles and ditched the glasses. Neil's gotten different style glasses and grown out his hair. Courtney's had all kinds of hair change. Jessica, no change. And the next issue is a uh, big Neil, which is a very fun and interesting one. But yes, that was Hellgate Battle Twenty Eight the one he truly loves thank you for that redeem lord of kirby 60 thank you so much for watching if you liked this video make sure you hit the like button and i'd love to read your comments below and make sure you're subscribed so you know when the next comic goes up also check the description for a playlist of any readings you may have already missed and if you'd like to read ahead all of these comics are free on my website jaegercomics.com bye